in Astoria, Queens. When I was like 10 years old, I got a little bit into graffiti and that kind of like ruined my artistic abilities for a while because I just did that. And then when I was like 17, I started drawing again. I got into tattooing when I was like 18 and I started tattooing in 2003. I never took, even took an art class in school. I was always kind of like one of the bad kids, so I didn't get the privileged classes. I was approached by a friend of mine, and he was like, oh, you should start tattooing, blah, blah. He was like, I have all this equipment, you can buy it off of me for whatever, it was like 1200 bucks. And he's like, and I'll teach you how to tattoo or whatever. And then, like a week after, he was like, oh, I'm moving to New Zealand, so good luck. The first like tattoo I did here, we were like working super late and uh, these girls came in and one girl wanted a butterfly and the two artists that were working here at the time were busy so they were like just do it and I did it and it came out okay. At that point I didn't really care about tattooing that much you know so I was just like fuck it and, and just did it so in the first like five years all I did was fuck up tattoos really <laughs> and every day is different. I do a cool tattoo every day so I mean Tomorrow I could do something that's better than a tattoo that I did today. What's the hardest style, you would say? I think like portraits are really, especially when it's like some, a person's family member, you know? It's like a, a celebrity or, you know, like a portrait like that, it's like one thing, you know, you could have some artistic freedom, but when it's like somebody's grandmother, <laughs> you can't really fuck right. around, you know? 